So understand that the solution to your problems, that the solutions that you seek to the problems that lay in front of you are actually a lot simpler than what so many of you would actually allow yourselves to believe. What's good everyone? Just out here getting after it once again. You know what it is. And I hope all you guys out there are doing just the same. Continuing on this journey to be able to create better individuals to give back to your dogs and your family units. Now, I wanted to speak to you guys about not confusing the solutions that you have within you. I wanted to tell you guys to stop complicating everything. That the answers that you seek within the solutions to your problems do not have to be a difficult one. A lot of the time they are a lot simpler than what so many of you would allow yourselves to actually believe. Think about it. When you look at yourself in the mirror and you tell yourself, I could drop a few kegs, well what do you think it is that you have to do to find the solution within your day-to-day -day habits? To be able to partake in the solution instead of contributing to the problem. Go for a run, go to the gym, make better eating choices, right? Quite simple. But where the difficulty comes from is our attachment to the excuse, is our attachment to why it's so hard, to why our story is so much different, to why we can't find time, to why our situation just won't allow us to participate within the solution because we would rather participate in the excuse. You see where the confusion is? You see where that uncertainty is? You think about it. The answers sit within your own internal state of consciousness. Ask yourself, what is it that your conscience is calling out for you to do? For you junkies out there, what do you think your conscience is calling you to do when you look at yourself in the mirror? You think your subconscious doesn't know about that little stash you got hidden in the back of the wardrobe, in the back of the fridge, for you Elkos out there? What do you think? your internal state of consciousness is telling you to do. It's telling you to quit that. It's telling you to stop that. It's telling you to stop kicking up with this crew, that crew. It's telling you to change your lifestyle choices, to habitually create an individual that you can be proud of. And then you wonder why you lack your own self-esteem and self-respect. You wonder why you get dirty when people don't show you the respect that you think you're so fucking entitled to. Cunt, you don't even know how to fucking respect self and you think you deserve respect? Your subconscious is telling you that you don't deserve the respect. And then you wonder why you sit there all broken and muddled up inside. You people that attach yourself to these excuses within all these different areas, the same principle applies. You wonder why your life, your state of mind, your mindset is so riddled with so many different instabilities. It's because you attach yourself to the excuses of why there's so much confusion, of why your situation is so difficult. Understand that no matter where or who you are in life, that you are always going to be faced with adversity. So therefore, the simple solution to find simplicity and clarity within the solution is to understand what it is that you must do to partake within the solution, not the problem. We have an application problem, as I've said in the past, not an education problem. We have all the knowledge at the tip of our fingertips, Google, our phones, computers, wherever we want to look, we have the knowledge there. We have the information there. We have the ability to educate ourselves in any way, shape or form that we feel. But you know what? The issue lays within the application because so many of us would rather participate in the excuse of why we cannot do this and then we wonder why we're so confused when it comes to the solution of applying the actual solution of what it is that would actually fix our issues and fix the problems that we face. Think about it. As I said, be aware of your own internal state of what your consciousness is calling you out to do. You look at yourself in the mirror, 
and your consciousness is telling you to drop those kilos, go for a run, go to the gym, hold yourself responsible and accountable to the responsibilities that you must participate in to drop those kilos. Hold yourself disciplined to better lifestyle and eating habits. And then the kilos will drop. Therefore, you have clarity within your own internal state. Your consciousness will tell you that's exactly what you should have done. You've done right. But instead, the unfit, neurotic, unhealthy individual wants to sit there and say, oh, but you don't know. Uh, but this is hard. Uh. Bitch, your mindset is what's making it hard. Your state of mind, your attachment to the excuse is what's creating confusion. Your children don't listen. Your dogs don't listen. Ask yourself, are you yourself someone that you would even listen to? Hmm. The majority of you, no, that ain't the case. And then you expect your dogs and your children to listen, to take that guidance and direction from your leadership. You don't even know how to lead self and you expect others to follow your leadership. <laughs> really, do you see the attachment to the confusion here? Learn to create clarity within self so that you have the right to lead from the front, so that you have the right to lead by example. If your dogs ain't listening, maybe it's an obedience problem. Don't say that it's all the dog's fault. The humans are supposed to be the intellectual species, aren't we? Maybe learn and teach yourself a few training methods. Learn to apply these training methods due to the individual dog that you have in front of you and what is going to be best suited. Therefore, you can have clarity within the communication between yourself and your animal. Instead of expecting your dog to try to follow an unstable person, expecting yourself to be able to have the ability to influence the state of the mind of the animal when you don't even have basic influence over your own state of mind because you're so attached to the excuse. Your internal state of consciousness is what's going to tell you what you must do. But instead, the difficulty lays within every excuse that you tell yourself of why you just can't do it. So understand that the solution to your problems, that the solutions that you seek to the problems that lay in front of you are actually a lot simpler than what so many of you would actually allow yourselves to believe. See it for what it is. I hope that little gem can help and I hope that it can provoke some good food for thought. God bless. Peace.